Hello, Chris Richter here. Welcome back again. Now, what we're going to look at is payment gateways and a question I often have, and there's quite a few people have been asking, how do I add a payment system so people can pay for courses that I have on my platform? I'd like to do that on my Moodle 4.0 version of Moodle. So I'm going to show you how we go about this process of adding a payment gateway. There is there is a default payment gateway already built into Moodle, which is the PayPal gateway. So I'll show you how to set that up. And then I'll show you a few other options as well, because I know some people might be more interested in things like Stripe or other payment gateways too. So let's jump in straight away. Site administration, go into plugins. And remember, I'm on Moodle 4. Point something here. If we go down to payment gateways, you can see manage payment gateways is on there. Let's go into manage payment gateways and you can see PayPal is there. We need to enable PayPal. Of course, that's the first thing. Then we need to go into our settings for PayPal and we can add a surcharge. So for surcharge, we can put in there a 1% surcharge, which will cover most Visa, MasterCard, all that type of thing and save changes. Okay, back to our plugin. Now, what we need to do is create a payment account, and this is the account that will be used for these payments. We can create a payment account that is just a general payment account that's used for everything, or you can create separate payment accounts for different teachers if you have different teachers that are also gonna be paid separately. We're just gonna class this one as uh, the, the Ricochet payment account. We'll save that and enable it. Now we need to make sure that uh, PayPal currently isn't connected, so we need to click on PayPal and we need to enable the PayPal, and this will be the Ricochet payment. We then need to go to PayPal and get our client ID and our secret, and also decide whether in the live or the sandbox. So if you duck over to PayPal, you can find all of that information in your PayPal account. I won't go into my PayPal account to show you, but it is absolutely in there. But to get your client ID and secret from PayPal, go into your PayPal account. You'll find an option up the top uh, of your dashboard called developer. If you go into developer, choose sandbox. So there'll be an option there to either live or sandbox. If you go into sandbox mode, that's what you want. Then you want to go, go into apps and credentials. And then if you don't have an app in there already, then you need to create an app. That will create you a client ID and a secret. If you've already got them, then you can just use, use that client ID and secret that comes in there. So I'm going to paste mine into there and save that. So let me do that. Making sure that you choose the environment of sandbox or live, depending on which you want. Now, because we're setting this up to test it, make sure you go to sandbox first, just to try it out. If everything's working, you should see a green tick there. So that part is all done and perfect. Now let's move on to actually putting this into a course, this payment gateway. Let's go into a course. I'm going to jump into my H5P demonstration course. Don't think there's anyone enrolled in that one. Just me, so that's okay. Jump into site administration again. Jump into plugins and we need to go down to enrollments, manage enrollment plugins. And the one we're looking for is enrollment on payment, which activated by clicking on the little eye icon. So we've got enrollment on payment. So that bit's done and we can move on to actually adding this to our course. If we now go into our courses and I'm just going to choose the H5P demonstration course, go into participants, enrollment methods. So next one, and you can see that we've got many enrollment and self enrollment. We then go add a method and we choose enrollment on payment as a new method. And we give this a name. We can now set up an enrollment payment for this instance. So we we'll just call this we we'll just call this ricochet allow enrollment on pay, allow enrollment on payment enrollments yes we do the payment account will be ricochet which we already set up the cost of the course is twenty dollars and it's in US dollars when they enrol they become a student you can set an enrollment duration and all of those other things so then we just go add method and that's basically it so let's jump in and have a look what this looks like for a student now a student will need to log in as an actual user first to see this because of the way I set up my platform. So they need to log in. If they want to enroll in this course, they'll need to go into the course, which I should have a link on the homepage for this one anyway. I think this is my H5P course, wasn't it? So the student goes down to the H5P demonstration course. They click on the course and it says, this course requires a payment for entry of US $20. Select payment type and they choose PayPal and then they'll go proceed. Notice it says includes 1% surcharge for this payment type. They'll go proceed and they'll pay that and that will go into my PayPal account, which is absolutely awesome. Well, mind you, this is the, um, the test one. And now once the student's paid, they can then access the course. And that's all there is to setting up uh, a payment system 
in uh, Moodle 4.0 because it already has that PayPal part in it. But I did want to also show you some of the other options. If we go into the Moodle plugins directory, you can also see there is a couple of extra payment gateways as well. One of those being this one here, which is the um, Stripe payment, which is something you may want to make use of. So you can download that, install that Stripe payment, and it will go to your Stripe account. There is some other options as well. This one does later offer subscription payments to students. If you go to the Pro Stripe Pro version, which is interesting because that's something that I would probably want to do as well. So that's the basics of setting up payment details or payments uh, in your platform. If you do need to go back in at any stage to make a change to this, you can go into enrollment methods, back into the course, back into enrollment methods and into the Ricochet one that I set up. And here you can change the enrollment fee, the currency that it's in, and all of those other settings as well for each of your courses. Now you can get people to pay for your courses on Moodle. Something we will look at soon is also how to restrict access. So only students can't see each other student because there may be cases with your platform where you want people to be independent rather than be part of an actual cohort or part of a group. So we'll look at that too. But hopefully that's been useful in adding payments to your Moodle course.